Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Will from WC Review. Uh, just wanted to expand on uh, um, kind of a, a first impression slash minor review that I did uh, on the Chavez knife, the, the 229 Redemption. Um, the more I handle this knife, the more I um, play with it and, and, you know, cut things with it, the more I love it. Uh, I can't say enough good things. I would call this a Goldilocks knife. I, I was talking with Satu Dave a little bit. I called it a gentleman's knife. And I, I agree with that with that designation, but it's a Goldilocks knife. Uh, I love big, huge knives, but so many times, that you know, I love them so much, but they're a little bit awkward to be having in your pocket, like like my uh, my new fat daddy. I love it to death, but it's a bit of a honker to have in your pocket. I'm going to do it anyway, but it just is. This knife is not too big, and it's not too small. Uh, it's not too heavy, and it's not too light. Uh, to me, it's just right, and I think it's honestly sent me on a new trajectory looking at knives like this, and it's made by Riot, um, and that is kind of what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm into Chris Reeve a lot. I'm definitely going to wind up getting a Sebenza at some point. Uh, I like the 24, by the way, but back to this. I, I there's just nothing I don't like about this. If I would say any one little thing about this knife, I'd love it to have a flipper. Um, but the action is just so amazing. Um, I, I just love everything about this knife. And as I said, uh, it's kind of sent me on a little bit of a new trajectory. Um, I'm also appreciating the heck out of this, this compound grind. Um, the hollow grind, uh, in my opinion, is reminiscent of, of a straight razor. Um, uh, the blade is, <clears throat> excuse me, the blade is about 0.16 in thickness. And just before you get to the edge, like right here, it's 0 0.02. So what, what's that, 20 thousandths? Super, super thin, slicey edge. It's sharp as a mofo. Uh, and then they beef it up in the tip. Now, this is the, this is the drop point. Uh, but it does have a bit of, you know, the Tonto is is a little more aggressive as far as the way the, the blade is cut right here. But it beefs it up again so you have that power in the in the tip. Um, just very cool. And the grind itself, this is the thinnest of the, of the three I'm going to show you. But my AD10 Tonto has a very similar hollow grind. And then it kind of compounds into the flat grind. But this is a Tonto. This is a drop point. But... This is another knife if you, you know, it, and it's and it's actually much more affordable too. Um this knife was about a buck 50. Um as you know, these go for about 375. But I don't like talking prices. Um this knife is one of my favorites. It's a top 10 and actually I am uh I'm going to be getting around to doing a top 10. Uh, I'm just going to have fun doing it. I love talking about knives in case you haven't noticed. But AD10 Tanto Highly recommend it. Feels great in the hand, and it's got a very similar grind uh, as the uh, as the Redemption. Now, here's one I've never really talked about, but the grind is what brought it to my attention to go get it and show it to you. It's the Tucson TS313. This has a bit of a funky blade on it um, with the, um, I don't, what is that, a buoy? I, I don't know, a clip point. Um, it's another compound grind, though, with the hollow grind. Again, this is super sharp. And then beefed up a little bit in the Tonto point um, with a flat grind on that little triangle there. But this is a button lock, by the way. Pretty cool. I mean, it's very flickable. It's a fun fidget knife. Um, I'm, I, I actually really didn't care for it too much when I first got it. Uh, but it's growing on me. This is the Tucson 313. So, again, it just, it just struck me that these three blades have very similar grinds. Um, even though they don't look exactly alike, the, the blades themselves are very similar. So just thought I would share that with you. Um, but again, um, I can't say enough about this knife, the Chavez knife. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely getting another one. Um, and I think I want the Tonto point. I'm, I'm torn between the Redemption Tonto or the Sangre, uh, which is a Warncliffe version of these knives, but... I'm definitely digging it. I, I just felt I had to hop on and, and mention again <clears throat> how much I really am enjoying um, the Chavez. I highly recommend you checking them out. 
they're certainly flooding the market with them, so they're not rare by any stretch. Um, the the three thirteen, the Tucson. I had I had to get this from China. I was I was concerned that I had received a um, a, a phony, but I did some research and asked around, and and it's authentic. Um, I was gonna sell it, and and I still will if anyone wants to give me the asking price. But ah, forget I said that. I don't want to sell it. Um, but because this, that I came on to to talk about this, the Chavez. Um, again, it's the Redencion uh, two twenty nine drop point. Uh, I don't know if I went over it, so I'll just do it quick. The blade length is 3.625. The cutting edge is 3.45. It's 4.625 closed. Um, overall, it's 8 and a quarter, 8.25. Um, the, um, the blade material is M390. Uh, again, it's 0.15 thickness uh, at the spine. And just before the edge right there, it's 20 thousandths, 0.02. Um, and I did that with my, my own calipers, so uh, I know it. Um, it's a frame lock. It runs on ceramic ball bearings. And again, that, uh, that is felt in the action. You definitely will dig the action on this. It's one of my favorite things about this knife. Um, and, and the weight comes in at a very reasonable 6.5, 6.56 ounces. Some people call that hefty. Honestly, if you get below 4 ounces... In a knife, to me, it feels like a light piece of shit. So I need a little bit of weight to remind me that, you know, I bought something that's made of quality. So I don't like knives that are too light. Um, I don't mind knowing it's there either. But this, this might just be my most EDC knife that I own at this time. The, um, the, the AD-10, again, it's a little bit bulky, but the weight on it is like 7 ounces, which is perfect. I have no problem ED seeing this. These are tough as nails, too. I have the drop point as well. In fact, I happen to have it right here. Um, and I just got a PVD uh, blade. Everything about this the same except all blacked out. Getting it Tuesday. I will definitely review that, too. Um, and then I'm going to have one of these tricked out. Uh, Nathan's Knives. If you, have a, if you don't know about them, check them out. Uh, it's K-N-A-T-H-A-N, K-N-I-V-E-S. Uh, he tricks out all different knives, but he does a couple of AD-10s, uh, and I've actually contacted him. He's going to, uh, when, when he has the books available, is going to trick one out for me. Um, definitely check him out as well. Uh, but again, uh, happy Sunday to everybody. <clears throat> I just love talking knives, um, and I just, I, I carry this with me all the time. Um, you know, we all have, all of us collectors in this pretty small community, we all have so many knives. I mean, I'm such a nerd. Sometimes I'll walk around the house and change the knife three times just so I can carry it. Um, I look for things outside to cut. I mean, I, I really don't have a, an overwhelming need for all these knives other than I need to have them because I love them. <laughs> um, but I, I, I've, I've listened to a lot of folks, and I think we're all on the same page that um, it's a bug, and I've been bitten. Um, but again... Just wanted to come on and talk about this. I really, oh, by the way, this is a blue anno, uh, kind of a, I don't know if it's rare, but it's not a run of the mill uh, Chavez. I don't know if you could tell that. It, the bluish gray, it does look a little bit gray, but this is the blue anodized version. Uh, I got it from NC Blade. Um, uh, Brandon over there, they're just, they're just good folks. And he has some, uh, you know, some stuff that's not run of the mill uh, everyday stuff. Like you can get the, the silver uh, titanium version and the G10 of this relatively many places but uh i hadn't i've never seen a blue anno one anywhere else um so i'm happy to have gotten that and the uh the ad10 in pvd coating was also something that i've never seen before so i just bought it immediately um my next purchase um the one that i'm kind of drooling over is going to be a riot i'm looking at the uh the k series i'm torn between k1 2 and 3 uh excuse me k uh 1 3 and 4 um I was looking at the Chris Reeves Sebenza, uh, but I don't know if I want to drop that kind of dough right now. Um, I'm, so I'm, I'm really looking at a Riat and this knife, which it is a Chavez, but um, it, the Ultramar series is um, made by Riat, which, again, is is what I love about this knife. It's got a little bit of Riat in it with the design of uh, the Chavez. So thanks so much, guys. I just, I'm just i going to wrap it up because I'm rambling now. But uh, have a great day. And... Uh, if you have a chance, go get yourself uh, a Chavez 229. Thanks so much.